We've been hearing about Google's amped up version of Assistant, which is going to be called Assistant with Bard, although probably not. It might just be called Gemini or something like that going forward. I'm hearing about it for a long time. Now, we know this stuff is coming relatively soon. We think it's coming to the Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro, but that's going to leave out a lot of devices. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a couple of quick tips that will allow you to get the most out of Bard or I guess Gemini in the very near future potentially, how to get the most out of this thing right now, not only on your computer, but also on your Android device. Let's get the PC version out of the way first. No, I do not mean politically correct. All right, so we are on my desktop right now, and you can see that I have this shortcut down here to Bard. If I click on this, it's going to fire up Bard in this web page, but as you can see, there's no address bar up here at the top. I'm going to show you quickly how to do this. First off, we're going to uninstall Bard. We're going to get rid of that icon, and we're going to start fresh. So let's open back up our Chrome web browser. We're on bard.google.com slash chat. We're going to come over here to the three dots, we're going to look for save and share. Let's do create a shortcut. We're gonna do open as a window and we're gonna create it. And at this point, you may get a thing asking if you wanna pin it to your taskbar, simply click on yes, put it where you want it and you're pretty much done. It is now right there. You can quickly open this thing up at any time. All right, what about on an Android device? You can see here in my work folder, there is an icon that says barred. And if I click on this, it's going to open up this page and it could kind of almost be mistaken for an actual application. How do you do this? Well, first step is you have to install an application. Let's go to the Play Store and we're looking for Hermit Light Apps Browser. Go ahead and install that and once it's done, open it up. It may ask you some questions, whatever. Just go through that setup process. We can close all this stuff. We're actually not even gonna give it permissions and we're gonna close that as well. And in fact, let me just delete mine really quickly. And I'll do the whole thing with you here so you can see exactly what's happening. Down here at the bottom, create. We're going to click on create and then create your own. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to type in bard.google.com. All right, so let's create the light application. We're going to call it bard. We're going to add it to the home screen. Great. Add. It's there. But again, there's a few things that you're going to want to do. And I'll show you why. Let's go out of this. There's the icon. Let's open it back up. There's all this nonsense up here at the top, and it just doesn't look particularly good. So let's go back to Hermit. We're going to click on the little gear, and we're going to come down to Behavior, and we're going to make it frameless. That's going to get rid of that bar up at the top. Now, you can make it full screen like that. You're going to get rid of the task bar up there. I don't really think that's super necessary. If you want to change the icon, you can do that there if you want to. Personally, I don't like the gray theming of it. So we're going to come to this screen and we're going to, we'll make it sort of a bluish color uh, because why not? And click on OK. And we can close this now. And now whenever we fire up Bard, actually need to go back because we're in like a settings thing for Bard. This is what it's going to look like. Let's go back again to close it. And when we fire it up, that is going to be our experience, which I think looks pretty good. And it's going to function exactly as you would expect. Now, what is Bard actually capable of doing? Well, in this form, still quite a bit. Okay, so this is not replacing the ability to use Google Assistant and it be able to answer questions using this Gemini model using Bard. But you can still get quite a bit done with this. And I'll give you a quick example. We're going to ask it a simple question. What did reviewers think about the Pixel Fold? And instead of getting a bunch of results through Google of reviews that you would have to read through and then sort of combine and figure out, you know, the answer to this question yourself, it's just going to go through and answer the question for you. And generally speaking, I find that these answers are fairly accurate. Another cool thing is that you can ask it contextual questions, right? So did it sell well? Did what sell well? Did the pixel fold sell well? It understands the context of the conversation and it's going to do its best to answer this question as well. And here's one more thing that I think is really, really cool. Make a table showing the specs of it. We're not even gonna say what it is again. And Theoretically, it should be fairly accurate of, in doing this. It's going to grab the specs of the Pixel Fold and it's going to throw it into a table for you, which you can then do whatever you want to do with it. This stuff is really, really cool. And that is why whether I am on my... Boy, that animation was really slow. My OnePlus Hope, but it's not really that slow. I'm capturing the video. Trust me, it's fine. That is why whether it is on my PC or on my phone, extra icon, I like to have 
the barred icon sitting there because I pull it up and I reference it doing things like this all the time. It's a great way to speed up my research process. And like I showed in a prior video one time, I had a whole bunch of comments on a poll and I wanted to kind of figure out what people were generally saying. I just literally took my mouse and started highlighting, highlighted them all, pasted it in and said, summarize this. And it did a phenomenal job of telling me what this, basically what, you know, 20 or 30 different comments were saying. It broke it down, distilled it for me. Fantastic. It will distill web pages, anything like that you want it to do. And that makes it a lot easier to get to. Again, not as easy as holding your power button for Google Assistant, but in lieu of that coming to your device, which it probably isn't anytime soon, you can still do this. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.